Good morning, Pastor Ray here with the Daily Bread. God is good. Amen. Today is Monday. It's beautiful. Uh, amen. And we're believing the Lord for your life. And so uh, let's get into the Word of God. Amen. Um, the book of Acts, we're working through it and we're almost finished. And so uh, today, press but not crushed. And so we see this played out. It's going to be played out in the text that we're going to read today. But the Apostle Paul writes uh, something in 2 Corinthians, and I like the way it says it. And I think it's encouragement for us today. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 says, We are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Amen. And so, that's the believer, right? Because he's, he's getting at that idea of there's trouble there's things that happen in life and he says but you know what but we're unconquerable why because jesus is here no, no matter what happens what the devil throws at us as long as we don't yield and as long as we cling to jesus he's here and we can always stand amen and so let's read this text and see what we can learn from the book of acts chapter 27 verse 39 through 44 they're about to be shipwrecked uh but everybody makes it through. And so it says this in verse 39, Acts 27, verse 39. When it was day, they did not recognize the land, but they observed a bay with a beach, onto which they planned to run the ship, if possible. And they let go anchors, they let go the anchors and left them in the sea. Meanwhile, loosen, loosing the rudder ropes, and they hoisted the mainsail to the wind and made for shore. But striking a place where the two seas met, they ran the ship aground and the prow struck fast and remained immovable but the stern was being broken up by the violence of the waves and the soldiers plan was to kill the prisoners lest any of them should swim away and escape but the centurion wanting to save paul kept them from their purpose and commanded that those who could swim should jump overboard first and get to land and the rest some on boards and some on parts of the ship and so it was that they all escape safely to land all right so <clears throat> earlier apostle paul confirmed it right he kind of prophesied that they were all going to make it through that the ship would be destroyed it's going to be hard but that they're all going to make it through and i like that i like that they're all going to make it through because that's hope for us right they just came through the storm I mean, what we know that the storm is the season, it's the issues of life. And so they come through the storm and then an angel gives Paul a word and you're going to make it, Paul. Uh, but there's going to be trouble along the way. And so now they're, uh, they're finally getting to the shipwreck and, and, and the boat's being torn up. It's crazy. And then, uh, but they all make it safely. And then to top it off, the soldiers wanted to kill all the prisoners. Paul was a prisoner, but yet... God came through, through the centurion, something about centurions, because they, they seem to be referenced a lot in the Bible, but the centurion uh, calls out and spares Paul. Why? Because Paul was a blessing to him. Amen. What a blessing that is, right? What does it say? You know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. All those strong, basic, principled Christians principles that we must observe do unto others as you would have them do unto you i think that's the golden rule right and so paul being a blessing and the blessing comes back and you know so you never ever never ever withhold being a blessing never ever withhold being a help being an encouragement uh, being somebody's strength especially when it's in your power to do so uh, because many times it'll come back to us right but what does it say it says that Give, and it will be given back to you, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Amen. Isn't that what the scripture says? But our text that we read in 2 Corinthians, he's trying to encourage this church, you know, because they're struggling, uh, they're facing persecution and all that. And he says, we're pressed, but we're not crushed. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Right? That's the song that we sing. Isn't that good today? That's good for me. You know why? Because I have my own trials. I have my own things that I'm facing currently. And you have yours. But as long as we stay strong in Jesus, strong in the Lord, we can face whatever comes our way. And not only can we face it, 
we can triumph over it. We can have victory over it. We can move forward over it. We can grow from it. We can learn from it so that we can help somebody else. Oh, that's good. I love the Word of God. I hope you love the Word of God too. And uh, we're believing the Lord today for your life. We just finished chapter 27. Tomorrow we begin chapter 28. And then that's it for the book of Acts after we finish chapter 28. Amen. And so, uh, Lord bless you today in Jesus' name.